Hello lovely people, welcome to the Geek Covered, I'm Penge, and welcome back to the Universum, where really we're all just waiting for the Hyperloop project to wrap up, aren't we? Just so we can see our nuggets flying through magical future tubes, because it sounds amazing. It shall be a sight to behold, I'm sure. However, we do have a little bit of an issue. Right now, we need another 155 steel beams, and that's sort of okay, we've got two steel beam factories, and they're working away very hard indeed. However, we've run out of iron. We have entirely no iron right now, and we're not producing any iron either, so we're not going to get any more in anytime soon. And of course we need the iron to put into the steel factories to make the steel beams. So we're not going to be able to get the Hyperloop completed as things stand right now. We need to go and get a few iron mines up and running. And this is quite surprising because once upon a time we had quite a lot of iron mines. And of course over time we've gone through the iron in them, but I thought we'd been replacing them, but clearly we haven't. So do we not have a single iron mine now in the entire of Cabordia? I don't think we do. So let's go and have a little look, shall we? Go to here and go to iron mine. Ah, okay, right over here behind the pyramid. That might be quite good. Uh, can we tuck it round that corner? There's quite a lot. Please tell me we can tuck it round that corner because there's loads of iron round there. I'm not quite sure where the front is anymore. Um, there. Uh, hang on, bring it round that way. No, we can't put it there. Oh, botherations. Okay, can we sort of tuck it over here somewhere? Can we put it on a hill? Can we put it on the top of a hill? No. Again, I kind of feel like mine should be able to sit on the side of a hill. They go into the hill, really, but there we go. So, okay, so there's a great big load of iron over there that we can't really make the most of. We could put an iron mine there and get 1,248 iron, which is better than no iron at all. So hang on, let's put it back where it was. Uh, yeah, we'll pop one in just there. So that's at least something going on. And then we must be able to get another couple in. There's got to be another couple of good locations. Come on, where's some iron? There's quite a bit over here. But I bet we can't put anything down here because it looks a little bit too hilly. Um, we could. That's only 415. That's not worth doing. Okay, right. So not over here. Anything over this side? Uh, oh, potentially over here. Hang on. This could be quite good. If we put that... Where's the, um, where's the front? If we put it on the road, it's 1,106. If we just bring it back a bit um, to about there... 1,430. Okay, yeah, I like that. Yes, absolutely. We shall have that, please. Uh, okay, so that's two over here in the sort of newish part of town. And then, can we get any more in? That's the big question. If we could get one more set up, I would be quite happy with that. Um, have we got any availability over here? There's a tiny bit there, but not really worth having. Anything over here? There's... 500 and so. Again, not a great big pile of it. Anything over here? 112, 300. There's a thousand. Ah, but we have to kind of put it on this side. And again, we can't put it on that hill. Okay, bit of a nuisance. Okay, maybe for the minute it might just have to be those two new ones that we've sorted out. Let's have a quick scoot around. Uh, maybe over here? Uh, oh no, that's where the new ones are. I'm getting very confused. Cabordia is very big now. <laughs> it's very big and I'm getting very confused with where everything is. Although, hang on, hang on. Could we fit one in just here? There's 1,000 iron right there. Come on, there must be a place where we can build this. There's got to be there, there. 1,100. And if we put it up the hill a bit, 1,189 iron. Uh, can we get any more? Yes, we can. 1,300 and 16 was it? Do you know what? I'll take that. Yes, absolutely. Pop an iron mine in there as well. Relatively close to the heart of Cabordia, which is quite exciting. And I think that'll do. I think three of them should be pretty good. Uh, but yeah, we're completely out of beams. So how? Not beams, iron. But then we will soon be out of beams. Um, where are we? Let's go and take a look. So yeah, they need... Two iron and two gas. Got plenty of gas right now. We're producing 10.3 and we're using 7.7. .7. So we're, you know, gas is, is good. We're okay for gas. Glass is absolutely fine. Oil is absolutely fine right now. That's all good. Yeah, iron just seems to be the big problem there. So if we do get those, um, get those new iron mines up and running, then that will help out quite a bit. And I imagine a lot of the upgrades we need are going to require a lot of steel beams. Like, what do these need again? The reservoirs is... Oh, no. That is weirdly electronics and plastic. 
Okay, right, maybe we could start working on that a bit. Um, and of course, we now do have a new bridge upgrade, which is exciting. What do we need for that? 15 steel beams to get ourselves space bridges, which sounds very exciting. Um, okay, okay, right, this is all fine. Uh, what do we need to do some upgrades then? Let's go here and have a look. So what can we do that doesn't require steel beams? Because these steel beams are now going to be exclusively reserved for the Hyperloop project. In fact, could we even go so far as to say, uh, prioritize the Hyperloop project, please? Whatever you get, put it into here first, because that's going to be very important. Uh, right, back we go to this. So we're upgrades, uh, reservoirs, hospitals yeah what do we need for the reservoirs uh, 126 electronics we've got 21 why do we only have 21 electronics what does that require where's the electric factory hang on i can't remember which one is which that's a that's a warehouse now where's the electronics factory <laughs> everything's all blurring into one there we go um they t oh they take iron they take iron okay so that's going to affect electronic output as well Right, okay. Took our eye off the ball a bit with that there, which is a little bit of a shame, but never mind. Everything will be back up and running soon. It's all going to be fine. Um, so I think maybe then we don't upgrade the reservoirs, hospitals. What do we need to upgrade them? Beams, electronics, and plastic. It's only... Oh, there's some wolves coming along. Hang on. Um, we'll pause time. Uh, there's only six beams required, but that's six beams that could be going to the wonderful Hyperloop project. Uh, we'll come back to upgrades in a minute. Hang on. Is it over here? Um, right. Okay. We are... Oh, no. Is that somebody already dead? Yes. There's a nugget there who's just... Uh, look, that's their spirit. <laughs> that's their ghost. Oh, you pesky wolf. Although I am clicking just then, it keeps saying wolf. Now, there you go. Uh, Lafes Bettina. A labourer is dead. Oh, and they had a geek of a corporate coloured blue beard. Oh, it's a sad time. Um, okay, I think there's loads of wolves down there as well. There are many wolves here. Okay, right. We need to do something about this. Um, I think what we'll do is... What if... Oh, there's two people here. Though. They're going to get instantly got, aren't they? Right, we might need to do a little bit of lightning um, on these here. So, boom. So, get rid of them. The nuggets are going to be scared. The Nuggets will be afraid of us because we've just done some, what I imagine they perceive as evil magic. But we'll get that done and boom. Okay, we might have set fire to a Nugget. Okay, hang on a minute. Are you on fire? Are you okay? Right, no, they're fine. They're good. They're absolutely fine. And I think has the other wolf been dealt with by the defense tower? I think it might have been. Um, right, yeah, I might have started a bit of a fire. There might be a little bit of flames over here. Sorry, everybody. <laughs> Are the Nugget Fire Service coming in? I think they are. Uh, oh, no, you're not the Nugget Fire Service. I don't know what you are. What's that? What have you got? You're a courier. Oh, they have, like, magical floaty basket things now. Um, okay, right. I might have started a fire there. So how about... Because we did start that, don't worry. We'll tide up after ourselves. It's fine. Let's just uh, let's do a little bit of rain on that there. Just to sort out the flames. Uh, right, okay. So that just there is a oh no there's a dead laborer under there did they get got by the lightning botherations okay right the courier is coming to pick up a few bits and bobs which is fine <laughs> i don't know what they've picked up but okay uh, right let's sort out the body shall we so we know there is a body over here so let's sort that out so pick you up sorry yet yeah, again we're gonna have to go and do nice magic i think because people are going to be very afraid of us so Bop you into the graveyard. Rest in peace. Hello, balloon. And then come back over here. And we want to get the person. Um, ah, there. Okay, right. We've got the person. There we go. I thought we might have trouble doing that. And we're not picking the gas up or whatever. But no, it's fine. Stellar medicine is done. This is brilliant. Right, pop you into there. Um, and then we do have... We do have those wolves. Um, that one... Is there one over there? That one there's gone, but there are the two over here that we sort of, uh, that we did kill. I mean, is it worth picking these up and putting them somewhere into, say, a warehouse for food? Because they turn into food. I don't know how much food they turn into, but yeah, it's better than wasting them, I think. Um, yeah, you've picked up the resources. We'll wait for you to move out of the way before we pick up a wolf. There we go. Sorry, we've scared some more nuggets. Sorry. <laughs> 
I, I genuinely do apologize. It can't be very nice, but okay, right. That's that sorted out. Let's go and check what the Nuggets think. Oh, hang on. What's that? Um, we have... I've got no military. Oh, okay. Maybe we should train some people up. And Nuggets are going to be less prone to injury. Well done to no, no. Very good. Happiness is very high, so let's not celebrate. Okay, whatever. Um, yes, maybe we should train... All, yeah, we've got one boomer barracks, so train all, and train all the rangers. Just to make sure that we do have an operating military. Um, and then how many unemployed nuggets have we got? Can we see? 238 unemployed nuggets. Good grief. And 33 uneducated ones. Maybe, maybe to make sure that we do get educated nuggets, we could invest once the hyperloop is done. We, I need to get the hyperloop done, but maybe another university or two would not go amiss. It's only five steel, look. It's just five steel. Um, could we put one over here? I think we had trouble building stuff around here because, yeah, we can't really see. See, that, uh, that? that's the weird thing about when it gets to winter in this game. You look at that and you can't really see that that's a hill because it's all just kind of completely whited out by the snow. But if you go down here and have a look, it's quite a substantial hill. <laughs> But you can't really make it out from up here. Um, I think maybe let's get another university in. We'll tuck that in over here, maybe. Just so we can get some nuggets into education. So pop that in like that. Yeah, we'll annoy the neighbours. It's absolutely fine. And then uh, where do we put the other one? Where do we put the other one? Maybe. Have we got one over here at the other end of the Hyperloop? It's going to be amazing when it's done. It's going to look so good. We just need to get it finished. Ah, construction completed. Okay, we are now producing iron again, which is brilliant. Oh, we have got one. We have a university over there, and it's not full of students. So maybe one more should be okay. One more should, I think, do the job. Look, people are walking along here. People are getting off just here, and they're walking along that route where the Hyperloop... Ooh, hang on. Those things have appeared. Are they... Are they working on it? No, they can't. Oh, now they've gone again. Okay, that's a bit weird. But yeah, people are walking along here, look. So if they had a lovely high-speed transport system that could fling them over there really quickly, wouldn't that be amazing? I think it looks like they walk along here and then get on the roads and then drive through here and then walk back this way. So yeah, maybe, yes, if we could... If we could get the Hyperloop in, that'll stop them walking through here as well. Walking through Loveland. Uh, Loveland, would you like to do some trading whilst we're here? Ooh, electronics might be quite a handy thing for us to have. Uh, because we are running low on that. Um, again, we've got, we have a ridiculous pile of stone. Would you like some stone? I mean, you can't really do much with it. You've got, I know, we've got three iron. Um, where's our stone? There. What if we gave you 1,000 units of stone? And then could we have... Do you know Can we have all of that gas? That'd be quite good. Yeah, and look, it's still absolutely fine in terms of the deal. Chemicals... Oh, you've got none to sell. Okay. What about 81 electronics? What if we took 81? It's not quite good enough. What if we gave you 1,250 stone? 1,350 stone. It's not quite there. 55. 1,355 bits of... Just raw, unprocessed stone for some gas, which you know, we don't overly need, but we might as well. And a big pile of electronics. Yeah, okay. I'm absolutely all for that. Yes. Pleasure doing business with you, Loveland. That's all very good. Um, oh, no. We're down to 3,600 stone now. How will we cope? <laughs> oh, dear. Uh, and then, if we go back over here, let's have a chat with that capital city. Yep, hello, capital city. What can we get from you? Uh, glass, we're okay. You haven't got any fuel. Gas, we don't overly need. Stone, we've got plenty of. Okay, so nothing from you. And then, where are they over here? Right, okay, so Carinaville, what do you have? No beam, sadly enough. 97 plastic, though. Do you know what? We will take that. We will take your 97 plastic, thank you. Uh, how are you for stone? How are you for stone? What about 750 stone? How about that for a deal? No, no, not going for that. Not feeling that. Okay, a thousand. What about a thousand lovely bits of stone? Okay, maybe a thousand, five hundred bits of stone? What about one and a half thousand bits of stone? Still not quite enough. One five oh five. One five oh eight. One five ten. Okay, not quite 
We're, it's nearly there. 1550. So yeah, that'll do. Again, it's a big pile of stone, but we've got so much of it. So yes, absolutely do that trade and stock up on plastic. And we're down to 2,000 stone, which is still absolutely plenty. Right, iron mines are now up and running. 3.4 is being produced every minute. I would like another one. I think maybe we do need another one. I just don't know where another one can go. Because it is used for the beams, but also the electronics, as we've seen. Um, where can we get another one that is going to be sort of okay? It doesn't have to be the best one in the world. I mean, that if it could go here... That, that would be really good. <laughs> but again, it can't. Because for some reason it can't go on a slight hill. It's a mine game. It's supposed to go on hills. <laughs> Normally you find iron in hills. Um, there is something on the side of that hill. Could we, could we maybe set up shop alongside the side of that thing? There's so much. Maybe not over there there isn't. But down here there is. But we just can't, we can't place the thing. It's a bit frustrating, isn't it? Come on, game. Let us put an iron mine down <laughs> where there is a huge pile of iron. Um, no, it's it's not going to fly, is it? It's not going to fly. Botherations. Okay. I mean, whilst we're working through you know, getting more iron out of the ground and then turning it back into beams, um, I might just have a quick fly around and just see if there is a location where we could put an iron mine, which might be quite good. I'm not going to hold my breath because I think we have exhausted all the current opportunities, but we'll go and have a little look around just to make sure we haven't missed anything obvious. Okay, right there is a very good location for an iron mine. I think we put one over there. It's right near one of the end points of the Hyperloop, so that's one of the kind of end points just there, and then the iron mine can go over here. It's kind of at the base of this big hill just there, but that's absolutely fine. It's not overly near anything. It's not really near a road or anything, but fortunately for us, it is within range of an engineer hut and a fire station, so it should be covered for repairs and in case of flames which is quite good so i think let's get this down just here and that will give us potentially 1675 iron that's going to keep going for a very long time indeed so absolutely put that down just there please oh and there you go when it comes out of the sort of the uh, build overlay thing it's in it's in a little bit of a sort of a not a crater as such, but a slight sort of, a slight recess at the bottom of the hill there. But there we go. So that can be a new iron mine and that can generate a lot of iron. That can bring out so much iron, which is going to be brilliant. So right now we are producing 7.7 .7 iron and we are consuming 3.4. How is it looking over here? We need, okay, we still need quite a lot of beams. We need many, many, many beams. Okay, right, that's fine. So yeah, it's just shy of 100. So that's not going to happen anytime soon. But now the iron mines are in, hopefully we should be able to get steel production back on the go and then we can get the stuff over nice and quick. That's kind of the dream there. That would be quite good. And um, also, whilst I was looking for the new sort of iron mine location, I did see that we got... Oh, there you go. And some more research is done as well. I did see... Hang on, scroll all the way to the end of the tree. Put us where we are, game. Uh, we got gravity altering, which means we can now upgrade our rehab centers to space rehab centers, which I think might be worth doing because as we saw last time, they are a little bit kind of, um, a little bit ancient looking now compared to all the wonderful futuristic stuff we've got. That does look a little bit kind of, a little bit old now, doesn't it? So what do we need to upgrade those? Oh, botherations, it's beams. It's beams and electronics. Okay, that's a bit of a nuisance, isn't it? It would be good if it didn't use beams. Uh, maybe let's just upgrade that one. Prioritize that just because I would like to see what it looks like. I would like to see what an upgraded one of those looks like. Like a yeah, space rehab center. What did they dream up when they came up with that? So let's go and take a look, shall we? Let's wait for that to be upgraded. And then we'll go and see what a space rehab center looks like. Okay, we are nearly done with the rehab center. The 3D printer's been busily 3D printing. And what does a space rehab center look like? Okay, that wasn't what I was expecting. It looks very, very fancy. Okay. Okay, so can we have a look inside? Um, I think we can sort of peer through these windows. I mean, there's you know, the obvious kind of futuristic doors that I imagine go Shh, when you open them and then they go Shh, when they close again. That's fun. And then you've got some sort of, I don't know what they are, like vats 
are they like the relaxation vats or something? I'm not quite sure, but um, okay, okay, there we go. And then it's the same on the other side. Oh, and there's like a big, oh, hang on, that's different. What's that? Oh, there's one on their own there. And then like a sort of a soft cushiony bit over there. And then these sort of vat things over there. Okay, right, well, there we go. There we go. We've got one of those in. It did take a little while to get put together, which does make me think that when all the resources are in for the Hyperloop, that's going to take so long. It's going to take so long just for the actual sort of physical construction of that to go in. Um, I can't click on that end of it, apparently. Where's it gone? Where is the Hyperloop? I'm not quite sure where it's gone. Hang on a minute. Come back over here. It was over here somewhere. Um, and now I'm not entirely sure where it is. Where's it gone? <laughs> where was it? It was here. Don't you tell me that's vanished. Game. Game. Bring back our Hyperloop, please. Okay, it's gone. Oh, hang on. We've got a thing. Uh, gone green. Dear creator, we haven't heard from one of the nuggets giving us a little mission in ages. This is brilliant. The world is suffocating. The trees are almost gone and I fear we are all to blame for it. Don't get me wrong. I love industry, but it's difficult to enjoy modern delights while everyone's wheezing uncontrollably. A slow and uncomfortable death ruins the mood somewhat, but it's not too late. If we plant more trees, we can fix this. Surely there must be some way to regrow the forest with bated breath. Yumnaho Shavalich. Okay, so use the forestation crate power and plant enough trees in the city to increase the oxygen level. I mean, we have been trying to do that as we go along. We might not have done it over the past sort of in-game year or whatever, but we have been trying to do that as best we can. Absolutely, yes. We will accept that. I'm a little bit concerned as to where the Hyperloop's gone <laughs> because all of our resources appear to have gone as well. If it's, you know, something's gone wrong with it and they can't construct it anymore, then I would expect all the steel beams to come back. But they are definitely not there. That is where the Hyperloop was supposed to go, wasn't it? It was over there and then over here and then down beside that building there. But now it appears to have gone. <laughs> Hang on, what if? What if we try and build something? What if we build something there? Um, okay, we can build a cattle farm there. I think our Hyperloop has gone wrong. I think it's glitched out because it's not there anymore. It's definitely not there. Okay, we'll come back to that in a moment. That would be a catastrophic, catastrophic waste of resources. We had like, what was it, 257 beams in there or something? So if that has gone wrong, that would be quite bad. That would be very bad indeed. Uh, the only thing I can think of is have another... No, you're too far away. I was thinking maybe they'd like put a, put their bubble in the way of where we were building or maybe they built a building in the way or something. So, you know, they've kind of got in the way of where the Hyperloop was supposed to be. But I think it was more going across there, wasn't it? It was going across like that. So I don't think they're in the way. Oh, botherations. Okay, okay. I mean, yeah, th this is... It, it's a setback. I'll be honest. It's a setback. Um... It's one that we could do without, but there we go. Never mind. We shall have to deal with it. Right now, let's go and try and oxygenate the planet, shall we? How are we looking down here? Atmosphere is on 80 out of 100. Oh dear. Okay. And uh, yeah, trees are down a bit. Pollution, though, is coming down quite a lot. Mine is 2% per year, and it's currently on 2. So by the end of this year, pollution should be down to 0, which is pretty good. But um, yeah, we do need to get some more trees planted. We did try to do this. We did try to give this a good go. But uh, right, let's just nip around the planet and make it a little bit greener, shall we? Okay, it looks like we put trees over there, but I don't think we did anything over here. So maybe on this bit, we could get ourselves some trees. So let's get that done. And yeah, 120 of our crate points on some trees over there. That's very good. And that's already 43% of what we need to complete our little goal just there. I mean, we could do this multiple times. We've got so many more trees to give. Um, okay, how about over here? It's a little bit barren over there. So uh, yeah, let's put, do you know what? 200. Let's just get a massive pile of trees growing over here. Air quality is improving thanks to you. Well, wonderful, we've got 15 believers. Oh, that's definitely not to be sniffed at. That is very good. Okay, so that means we can top up our creator points even quicker. And, okay, uh, I mean, we're still on 80 atmosphere. 
we're still on that. Uh, we will put some more trees over here because we can 100 points on that. I mean, yeah, they chopped them down, but do you know what? It's fine. We need that anyway. Uh, we'll put some over here just to make it look a bit nicer. And we'll put a few. Uh, let's do. What if we go right in the middle here and just go boop, 200 points. A big, big expenditure, but many trees. And it just makes it look a bit nicer. A few people have said this in the comments, that it does look a little bit kind of grim at points. What is this? What? What? Why? What? What? <laughs> What's, what was that? Oh, you're an engineer. Oh, you were repairing the thing. Oh, I thought you were attacking. You were shooting like a green laser thing. Oh, okay. No, there we go. Right, good. Yeah, that was just maintenance happening. Just, you know, space maintenance. Okay, good. Um, Yeah, a few people in the comments have said that uh, the areas that don't have trees in them do look a little bit kind of bland. So yeah, I quite like it when we put the trees in. And the atmosphere has gone up to 82. We have got an infected zone. Is it down near the front of the thing? It is. <laughs> it's always here. It's always here. This place is just, I think, out of range of a um of a of a graveyard. Hang on, where there we go. Right click you. Sorry, nuggets. <laughs> I do apologise, but yeah, we have to do this. We're helping. And in you go. Boop. Uh, quick check on the tower. Uh, do people still like us? Yes. Okay, people like us a lot. Wonderful. Right, okay. Maybe on account of the trees. Maybe because we have just created a gigantic pile of trees. Yeah, which is good. I like it. I like making all the trees appear. I think maybe some trees over here would be quite good. In that little bit there. Let's go and get some more trees in that little gap. Uh, and then, I think... We'll keep the points for something else. I notice we do have a potential firestorm coming um, at the start of the next summer. So uh, yeah, we'll try and um, we'll try and avoid that. But yeah, 150. There we go. So grow some more trees, and the atmosphere is still on 82. Is that now going to take an effect if all those trees grow? Do we have to wait for the trees to actually fully grow? It's still on 82. Okay, never mind. That's absolutely fine. We've done quite a lot of good work there on improving the air quality. Okay, maybe whilst we hope that the Hyperloop just kind of magically reappears, and I do hope it does, I'm crossing on my fingers and my toes and everything else, that it does just kind of ping back into existence. Whilst we wait for that to happen, which it might possibly do, I think let's go and look in space a bit, shall we? Because we haven't really done that too much. I imagine the observatory is now full of charges. There we go, five out of five. So let's go and take a look around space again, shall we? I don't know if we can do that much more looking. I don't know if we can uncover too much more stuff, but we shall have a look. So, okay, right on the edge of our planet there. So, okay, uncover that bit of space there. There's another planet. There is another planet. It's Tau 10. Okay, hello Tau 10. Okay, right, that's good. Finding another planet, that's always good. Um, yep, do another one, please. Can we, can we sort of uncover, uh, yeah, that bit there. Just uncover that just there. Nothing going on around there. Um, okay, what can we uncover over there? Not much. I think we've kind of done all these bits here. There's a tiny bit down there that we can uncover. Um, okay, do another one. We can uncover a little bit of that space there, but there's nothing there. And the final bit is... I can't really do too much more. We can't do too much more. Um, we can possibly uncover a little bit of that just there. And that's kind of it. That's kind of it. It's a shame we can't zoom in and out on this. I'd like to zoom out a bit to sort of have a look at... Uh, have a look at the, whatever, galaxy map would it be, from slightly further away. So we could see it all on one screen, but we can't do that, unfortunately. But there we go. There we go. Right. So I think then, let's go back down to planet, planet T. I was going to say planet Cabordia. Cabordia is the city. Down onto planet T we go, of course. Um, and I think maybe, given that the Hyperloop might possibly be gone, which, if it is, that'd be a massive shame. That'd be a huge shame if all of our resources have just kind of vanished into the nothingness. That would be yeah, a bit of a problem. But maybe that could be a project for another time. I think possibly we need to look at getting a little Cosmodrome thing in, whatever it's called. A thing where we can build a spaceship and then go and fly off into space and have a look around. Oh, gene transfer is complete, which is very good. And that does bring our little kind of research tree over here, almost to an end, but we do have these three things over here that we can invest our huge pile of discovery points into. So um, yeah, we'll get that, please. So that's a galactic buffet, which sounds amazing. So plus 15 food storage capacity in the eateries, 
which is no bad thing at all. And then we'll get Cosmic Gastronomy, which also sounds fantastic. Minus three seconds food cooking time in the eateries. So our cooked meals should increase a great deal and our sort of raw food should come down because they should be able to cook it up quite quickly and also store more of it in the eateries. So we'll get that done. Um, and then, yeah, we'll have that faster than light. Infused nuggets with energy from distant stars, making them more efficient at gutting fish in the fishing hut. <laughs> that is very, very particular energy. It's very specific energy, is that? Um, yeah, okay, we'll have that as well. Thank you very much. That is a little bit weird, but okay, no. And those three things will just happen. They don't take any time. They're now all done, which is good. And I think maybe what we could do is, um, we're not going to do any more research past here, possibly. Maybe we unlock the space gas mine and then we don't go any further than that for now because we have got a lot of work to do on the existing buildings in Cambodia to upgrade them. Because now we can upgrade the rehab centres, we can get the eateries upgraded, the lumber camp and all that kind of stuff, all the hospitals, the reservoirs, the you know, sort of water pump things. There's a lot of stuff that we do need to upgrade. So I think if we get this, that gives us a terraformer. So that's not anything that we need to build right now, I don't think. So that's okay. And then we'll get cloud seeding for a cloud generator, then an atmospheric water harvester for a hydro collider. I think these are things that you would build on a planet if you were going to go and live there and it wasn't very nice. I think these are kind of, yeah, sort of new planet technologies. So we'll get that and then we'll get the Minister of Space because that'd be quite fun. And then hydraulic fracturing to get fancier gas mines. And then we will leave it there. I think then, yes, we just have a little bit of time where we catch up on all the sort of technology that we now know about and we try and do all the stuff that we can do. And then we go back over here into all sorts of bonkers things. I mean, there's loads of crazy things. Shrink rays, anti-gravity, space burial. <laughs> What's going on there? A quantum ballistics matrix. Okay, if you say so, quantum thrusters. There are many exciting things, but yeah, we'll sort of um, we'll hold off down there for now just to make sure that we can catch up. And uh, yeah, where do we build? Oh, Courier Hut was damaged by a criminal. Well, that's just not good enough. Where are the Nugget PD? There's only four criminals. <laughs> and one of them, one of them has just committed a crime. Come on, Nugget PD. There must be loads of police officers. You should have enough police officers to keep an individual eye or two on the four criminals we have. Oh dear. Um, right. Uh, yeah, so space... Where is, there we go, Cosmodrome. So that requires plastic, electronics, and steel, which we now do have. Steel is, you know, ticking back up again. Um, so I think, yeah, let's get one of these in. Okay, they're really big. Right, these things are quite big. <laughs> okay, where do we put this? I don't think this is going to fit in the road network. Or will it fit in the road network? I'm, I'm not entirely sure it'll fit in the road network. It, it's too big for that kind of thing. Um, do we put it... A bit of lag there, game. Uh, do we put it sort of over here? I mean, it is massive, but I think it has to go over here because this is near where the fuel is and the steel and everything else. Um, unless we just put it... Do we put it somewhere over here? Um, we can't even put it there. We, can't, we could put it here. Um... But that will destroy all of that road network. That'll obliterate all of those roads. Uh, which would... That would be a shame. That would be a shame. Can we put it there? Uh, hang on. Pause time. This requires some thought because it is very big. And I don't want it to destroy too much road network. It's going to destroy a little bit. Um, but there is a bit going back there. Would we put it over here somewhere? I'm not quite sure where this can go. Where is it going to be... Not quite as disastrous. Uh, if we put it here, it could hopefully attach to that road in front of it, where the arrow is pointing. If we move it over a bit, um, I don't, I don't know where is it going to flatten that bit of road in front of it though. I'm not entirely sure. Let's put it just there. I'm going to press the button and hope for the best. Boop, and then do that. Ah, no. Okay, the road has appeared just here. Okay. So now we're going to have our very first Cosmodrome. So soon-ish, we might be able to start building spaceships and things, which would be exciting. All right, prioritise that, please. 
get the Cosmodrome put together nice and quick. And then, do we? Do we go back over here? It took so long fiddling about with this thing over here to get it working. But do we go back over here and start work on another Hyperloop? Because I was all excited to see that go in. And now it has gone a little bit wrong, hasn't it? Again, I'm not quite sure why. I don't know what caused the problem. I don't know why it stopped. Um, but yeah, I do think it's an exciting thing. Oh, hang on, what about these guys? Where's their bubble? You lot, where's your bubble thing? Oh, it's all the way over there. Oh, so it's not them then. I thought maybe it was going to be those guys causing the problem. Um, oh, okay. Uh, but yeah, I, I think it's gone. I think we can say with certainty that the Hyperloop has just vanished. I, I don't know why. I don't know how. I don't know what the reason is. Maybe something popped up down here that said, oh, yep. Yeah, that's gone horribly wrong. I don't know. I didn't see anything, which is a bit of a shame. Yeah, look, there are loads of people walking around just through the wilderness. So I think, yeah, they do go over there. So I would like to get one in. But of course, it went wrong last time. And it does make me think that maybe, maybe it's too big a project. Maybe something happened when it changed to winter or something. And I don't know, the water froze on the lake. I don't know. I, don't, I, I really don't know. I've got no idea why it went wrong. But I don't really want to kind of request another one. And we put loads of resources in. And then that one also vanishes into nothingness. That would be a bit of a bother, wouldn't it? Um, okay. Okay. Maybe then we focus on the new Cosmodrome for now. Let's get this sorted out. Shall we get that done? And maybe now we could look in here. Oh, we can upgrade farms. We can upgrade all the farms now. Okay. Um, 16 beams. 24 electronics. Okay, or maybe more importantly, the eateries. 52 beams, 52 electronics. Yeah, okay. Upgrade the eateries, please. That's going to be good. So yeah, get that done. Have we got... Oh, we haven't put the beams in here. Hopefully they'll put the beams in here first, into the Cosmodrome. Uh, right, okay. Run time on nice and quick. And yeah, right at the beginning of the summer, the next summer... There is going to be a firestorm. So let's save our creator points just to make sure that when we get to just about here, so what, about three quarters of the way through spring, we can then just skip summer, go to autumn, and then avoid the firestorm because the firestorm is quite dangerous. They're quite frightening. Uh, you know, there's a lot of uh, a lot of things on fire, weirdly enough. So, uh, so yes, if we could avoid that, that would be wonderful. What is that just there? What's that? And each and each is already being upgraded. Wow. Okay, that was that's very quick. Okay, I mean, yeah, they've got the three D printer attached to it. So, uh, in not too long at all, let's take a look at what a upgraded e tree will look like, or a space e tree, or whatever it is. Let's have a little look, shall we? Because that's going to be very intriguing. Okay, we're fifty percent of the way through. A hot air balloon is landing across the road. Hello, who's been out on a hot air balloon ride? Kotoki Leaf Water. Okay. Lovely. Did you have a fun time? I mean, uh, it probably is quite nice up there. A little bit kind of wintry, I guess. A little bit chilly, but, you know, it's probably fine. I mean, yeah, it's very cold right now. It's very, very cold. So, yeah, maybe up in the hot air balloon was a little bit, a little bit chilly, but never mind. Um, yeah, look at this. They're flying through this. Coming up to the 80%. What can we see? What can we see so far? Okay, hang on. There's a little kind of eating balcony. They've got some plants. Okay, I like that. Good plants. There is the sign of a burger. So, you know, we've still got burgers in the future. That's good. Got some more tables and chairs down there. So, really, what does the top look like? Oh. Oh, that looks very good. Oh, I like that. It's, it's got the international symbol of eating on it, look. <laughs> Which is quite good. Oh, crikey, more wolves. Um, okay, let's go back over here. Where are the wolves coming from? Where, like, why are the people over here in Loveland not dealing with the wolves? Why does it just come to us to deal with? Because now it looks like the wolves have killed two of our people already. Um, okay, what we'll do, we'll pick, we'll pick that one up. Pick that wolf up and drop it on the floor, that's fine. And then, pick that wolf up. Ah, okay, I think they did get to somebody because we're trying to pick them up. But the, um, the defence tower has done the job. I think the defence tower has done the job. But yes, now we do have a couple of, uh, couple of dead nuggets. Or I possibly should have put it onto normal speed to help out with that. We tried to do that on maximum speed, <laughs> which didn't overly help, but there we go. Uh, right, couple of people to pop into the graveyard. Don't you worry, folks. 
Don't you worry, I'm on it. I'm on it. I'm also possibly scaring you slightly with flying corpses. Uh, right, let's pop these over here. The walls have been dealt with. Yeah, it's always over here. It's always over here, isn't it? Just make me think, should we build another defense tower slightly further along so they can target the walls a bit quicker to maybe keep our people safer? Would that be a good idea? Uh, yeah, chuck you into there. I think that's all of the people that need to go in the graveyard. We've got the, the wolf bodies, but that's probably fine. So what if we got a defense tower... Uh, that's prison. Where are the defense towers? That's a rehab center. There, there. So if we put that, say, um, it covers to here. Look, so if we put that just there, I think that defense tower is still covered by an engineer hut. It's still covered by a fire station and it can target almost into sort of the enemy territory. So that makes sense. So maybe, yeah, if we clip it to the side of that road and put that there, Yes, please. That's going to be quite good. So maybe if wolves do attack from here again, we should be able to get a few quicker shots in to try to save the lives of our lovely nuggets. Because, yeah, this is becoming a little bit of a tricky area around here to manage. The nuggets do keep getting killed over here, which is a bit of a shame. Uh, right, OK, that's all good. How are we doing with this? Oh, are they working on it? Is it? It's under construction. Our Cosmodrome is under construction. Uh, oh, no, it isn't. No, it's not. I got too excited. Abandon that. We haven't got any beams in it and there are no electronics. OK, brilliant. OK, it's not under construction. They've built some stuff over here, but it's not actually being put together properly. Never mind. Uh, right. Let's go and take a look at our potential candidates. Let's look at who might be able to lead Cabordia. OK, we have Kabamu, who is all about water filtration. Free water filters in every nugget house plus 25 to water refill rates, water buildings decay twice as quickly. Okay, maybe not that. Nap time is terrible. That's just a terrible thing. That means the nuggets go and have a little nap in the middle of the day, and it means that it takes longer to make food and medicine, or food for all. Happiness plus two, food consumption plus 100%. Okay, our people are all very, very happy. Happiness is very high. It can't be any better. So, I mean, really, I would say the best of a bad bunch is Kabamu's water filtration thing. Water buildings decay twice as quickly, but we have got a very, very good team of engineers that can go and fix them up nice and quick. So, yeah, okay, we'll go for you. I mean, yeah, they're three terrible, three terrible laws, really, but there we go, never mind, never mind. Now, the 905 population, the votes are coming in, 220-something votes now, which is good. Uh, right, there we go, that's being cast, which is good. Let's nip back over here. So many things we need to upgrade. So many things now, which yeah, it's exciting. It's good. We'll get around to it eventually. We need some more steel beams. Maybe it might be worth going to um, do some more trading with our neighbours just to see if they have any beams. Um, over here, we've got the electronics in and the plastic. We are waiting for 11 steel beams to go into the Cosmodrome. Oh, no, less than that now. Six? Uh, six? No, not six. Uh, seven. That's it. Massive Penge. Seven steel beams remaining to go into there, which is pretty good. And what's that behind it? Another engineer hut. Okay, in a bit of a weird place, I'll be honest, but never mind, it's probably fine, but okay, right, they can put that there, that's all good. That means that we can probably build in that area and sort of expand over there. Oh, there's an infected zone. Is it the front of the restaurant? <laughs> it's the front of the eatery. Okay, fine. Let's pick up the corpse. Sorry, everybody. Chuck that over into there. Just get one of our one of our godly duties there. Just keeping an eye on that bit there. Um, oh yeah, look. There's loads of upgrades going on. This is very good. Very happy with that. Um, yeah, so let's pop back over and just wait for this to get a... Uh, get completed. No, let's not pop back over there and wait. Let's go and talk to our neighbours, like I just said. I knew I was going to do something. Right, over here, there's a bit of a fire over there. Um, over here, yeah, the trade cooldown thing is gone. Right, please tell me you've got loads of beams. Tell me you have much in the way of beam. Oh, botherations. No, you haven't got lots of beams. <laughs> you've got a small amount of electronics, which we could have. Can we have all of that, please? Don't need stone. Don't need planks. Don't overly need chemicals right now don't need bricks, and I don't even think we need gas. So we just have your electronics, please. Would you like some bricks? How about 50 bricks? No, I'm not interested in 50 bricks. 100 bricks? 
yeah, you're good for that. And that get our relations increased a tiny bit there because it's a good trade for them. Yeah, okay, we'll do that. We'll top up on electronics. Uh, right, let's go and find the other ones so we can go and do some trading with them. Where are they? Right, Capital City. Hello again, Capital City. Please give us shiny things. Um, fuel. I don't even think... I don't even think we need to buy fuel off them now. Got fuel, got glass, got gas. Okay, no point doing any kind of trading stuff with you. And then over here to Carinaville. Come on, Carinaville. Beams. Give us beams. No, no beams. No beams. Plastic. We'll take the plastic. We'll take your 55 plastic, please. Um, would you like uh, some bricks? I'm sure you would. How about 100 bricks? How about 1,000 bricks? Okay, no, that's a little bit too many. How about 250 bricks? That will do just nicely. Absolutely brilliant. Okay, right, there we go. So we go. we're still struggling for the beams. And one quick final check, just to make sure. Where is it? Where would it be? <laughs> Let's make sure the Hyperloop has definitely vanished. Yeah, it's gone. It, it has gone. I don't know where it's gone. I don't know why it vanished. We didn't get our resources back. So I'm going to assume that it was a bug of some sort. I'm going to assume that it was a bug and it's just not worked properly. So, right, now we know, though, roughly what we need to make it work. We know that we need about 350 beams. So I think maybe on Waterfall Treasure, yet yeah, well done. I think maybe we won't build one right now. We'll get a lot of upgrades done. And then possibly when we have been able to save up 350 beams, we will then go and build the Hyperloop. So I can just immediately put all the resources in and not have to wait around and then, you know, let problems occur. I mean, maybe, is it because there's a road here now? Maybe because there's a road there? There wasn't always a road there, was there? We put the high plume down. I'm not entirely sure. So I think something's got in the way. I think something interfered with it. Maybe like, you know, one of these buildings here has appeared and it's too near to it. Or their bubble thing has appeared over here and kind of blocked it or something. Something must have interfered with the building of it to make it vanish. I'm not sure what that something was, but that's what I'm going to assume. Maybe there was a thing down here telling us what it was. I don't know. I didn't see it. So, okay, it's a bit of a shame, but for now, we will, um, yeah, we'll have to sort of, you yeah, come back to the Hyperloop. We'll have to wait to see our nuggets flying through magical future tubes, because, yeah, I think maybe we need to save up the resources first. Uh, look at that lovely kind of god rays coming across the side there. Looking very pretty. Right. Check on the Cosmodrome. Let's see how we're doing with that. How have we got the resources in? We're waiting for three beams. Okay, right, that's fine. Run time are nice and quick. Let's chuck some steel beams over here, please. Okay, we have conflicting information about how near the Cosmodrome is to completion. If we look in the box on the left, you can see it says construction progress, 72%. Yet on the right, on that little pop-up there, it says Cosmodrome construction progress, 88%. I'm not quite sure which one I believe. I don't know which one is the right one. They both seem to be ticking up. Although, I think the one on the left is catching up with the one on the right. So I don't know what's going on with that. I don't know why there are two different kind of measures of completion there. That does seem a little bit odd. But yeah, I think it's going to catch up, isn't it? I think they're both going to hit 100% at the same time. A, a little bit odd, but okay. I mean, it's nearly done. It's nearly done. This is going to be very exciting. It's huge. It's a massive building. Look at it. It is gargantuan. And then I imagine, even when that's done, we're going to have to put many resources into it to build bits of spaceship, I imagine. We might not even know, know how to build the bits of spaceship. That might be some sort of sciencey stuff that we need to research. I also notice that we have the firestorm coming. Let's get this done first. And there we go. It is done. Take down all of the bits and bobs. There we go. Brilliant. Uh, right, before I forget, let's just very quickly move season, shall we, just to avoid the firestorm. So, uh, yeah, season change. Can we please go to, um, yeah, summer. We're in spring now. The firestorm's going to happen in spring. I thought it was more in summer, but okay, so it's in spring. So, uh, yeah, we shall skip through immediately to summer, please. There we go. Avoid the pitfalls of a firestorm. And now we can look at the Cosmodrome. And there it is. It looks wonderful. It's got a little kind of multicolor changing sign thing at the top there. I like that. Cry Space Industries. 
Okay, right. So we've got a cry space industries building going on. Um, and there's like a sort of a crane type thing over there. And we've got like a platform thing. I assume that's where people can walk about and tend to the rocket and such like. And then of course, yeah, a giant building over here in which we will build a rocket, which is going to be brilliant. Oh, the little engineer has done as well, which is marvellous. Right. Let's click on that then and see how difficult it's going to be to build rocket bits. Okay, um, ship load. Oh, hang on. Pause time. Pause time. Now, when we played the Universum four years ago-ish now, we did build a rocket. But as I, as I recall it, you had to build it in sections. I think you did build, like, yeah, an engine and a middle bit, like a habitation quarters and, like, a control room or whatever it was. I think that's how it worked. But now, that doesn't appear to be the case. We appear to be taking various components to then go and land on another planet and then set up there as well as down here on planet T. That's what it looks like. So we can take various bits and bobs. Uh, oh yeah, we can see the weight of it. So if we did take a set of solar panels, that's going to be 12 and a half of our weight. Okay. Right. We have to build up a little kind of, a little mini, a little mini sort of, I don't know, like it, your first sort of new planet starter kit kind of thing. To figure out how it all works. Uh, what's that? That is... Oh, and that's resources. We can take food and stuff as well. Oh. Okay, right. This... This is more advanced than I thought it was going to be. That's more advanced. And then... Nuggets as well. We have to take nuggets. Okay, right. There is a lot to do here. There is a lot to do. I imagine the idea is... That you send up quite a few ships... You send up, you know, one ship, maybe you have some basics in. You've got like an eatery, engineer, fire station kind of thing. Some power generation stuff and some resources. And then next time you send some other bits and bobs, maybe send a cemetery up next time, that kind of thing. Um, okay. And then do we just click that to just add it in? So if we wanted, say, some engineers to go up, we just go click. And okay, we can already see how full the ship is going to be when we have one engineer hut in there. Okay, let's get some basics in there, shall we? Bear in mind, we don't know what we're doing. I've got no idea what we're doing. <laughs> I don't know. Um, that's oh, that's breaking down into different kind of bits. Is it? Okay, right, this is good. Um, I mean, yeah, we don't know what we're going to find. I don't know what we're going to find out there in space. Which planet do we go to? Do we go to Andromeda? Uh, medium size. I think it's medium in sort of temperature. It's not too hot and it's not too cold i don't think um average i don't know what that is is that resources that might mean average resources um lots of oxygen uh not much pollution plenty of water by the look of it we might want to possibly take something to help out with that although we can probably do god powers as well to top up like lakes and things um so maybe andromeda would be a good start um or do we just take... I mean, the moon's going to be quite hard because the moon has no air and no water. So the moon might be quite difficult to go and settle on. Um, but yeah, it's nearer. It's nearby. Crystal Planet is really, really hot. Um, Tau Ten is a little bit chilly, but has got quite a lot of stuff. Uh, Lava Planet is very big, uh, quite far away, and also is very hot, as you might imagine. And down there, Toxic Planet is incredibly, incredibly, incredibly polluted. Okay, but it's got loads of oxygen and water on it. It's just a bit pollute -y. Or, yeah, do we head to the moon and try and terraform the moon? I now don't know what to do. Oh, not that. I didn't want to do that. Where do we go back to the thing? Yeah, back down here. So back to the Cosmodrome. Um, we have got these things. So a terraformer, oxygen generator, and cloud generator. Um, okay, right. What do they do, game? What do they do? They're going to sort of pop out of their little sort of things here. Okay, so we've got a terraformer. Transforms planets and spark life. Requires fuel and chemicals to sculpture nugget utopia. Witness evolution in every landscape. Terraforms the planet in exchange for resources. But how many resources gain? What type of resources? I'm not entirely sure. Fuel and chemicals, it just says. Um... Um, but like 10 fuel and 10 chemicals? I don't know. <laughs> I'm not sure. Oxygen generator makes oxygen. That's going to be quite helpful. And uh, where was the other one? Where was the other one? Oh, the cloud generator. 
uses resources to create rain clouds that will replenish planet lakes. A rainbow isn't included. But what resources, Gary? <laughs> what does it need? Tell us. Um, maybe then, take some engineers, take a terraformer, an oxygen generator, and... Oh, these all require... Do you know what? They require a lot of a lot of materials. Maybe for now... Let's. We've got. We've got the building in. We've got the building in. Let's. You know, I know. Crunch some numbers and make some plans and try and figure out what we need to do to go to another planet. I mean, I immediately think we should head to the moon. I kind of think we should go to the moon. You can sometimes see the moon around and about. Where are you, moon? I kind of think we should head off to the moon because it's quite nearby and it means we can see all those kind of different terraforming things in action. Where is the moon? Moon, show yourself. Okay, I've lost. I appear to have lost the moon. Okay, never mind. It's vital. It's around somewhere. There it is. Hello, moon. Uh, yeah, so maybe we could go over there. Look, can we fly? Oh, no, we're just coming back down to the ground for some reason. Okay, <laughs> good. Good. There we go. I didn't want to look at the moon anymore anyway. Um, so, yeah, I think that could be quite a good challenge. That could be quite a fun challenge. To just kind of go head out to the moon and try and make it a place where the nuggets can live. Get some water, get an atmosphere going on. That could be quite a good challenge. Um, yeah, okay, right, yeah, that's what we'll do. I think that sounds quite fun. And then to wrap things up, maybe we should just go and have a look. MAGA is going straight to prison, oh dear. Um, let's look at what we can do here. Atmospheric water harvester is done. Okay, Ministry of Space is now being researched. That's quite good. Um, yeah, farms was 16 beams and 24 electronics. Okay, yeah, we can invest in that. That's absolutely fine. And hospitals, six beams, electronics and plastic. Yep, that's fine. Do that as well, please. Uh, the bridges, they will require quite a bit of stuff, won't they? Is that 65 beams? Okay, don't do those quite yet then. Uh, and then it's just water pumps and reservoirs. But we don't want to do all those at the same time because that'd be bad. Or well, the rehab center. Um, yeah, get that done. Get the other one of those done. So get that upgrade sorted out. Uh, oh, the lumber camp. Of course. Glass beams and electronics. Yeah, do you know what? Get a, a fancy space age lumber camp. That could be exciting. Um, and then I think, yeah, the water pumps we need to go around and do individually, I think. I think we need to do it in... Okay, I've just clicked on that. What do they need? Beams, electronics, and plastic. Okay, one of our water pumps is going to be upgraded. I'm not quite sure which one. I thought it would bring up a thing saying, hey, it needs this to do the upgrade. Do you want to carry on? But it didn't. But yeah, that's fair enough. Um, so yeah, I think we'll wrap things up for now. Now we've got a Cosmodrome, which is yeah, an exciting new building. Maybe not quite as exciting as the lost Hyperlube, which was a bit of a shame. That was a bit of a shame. I was really looking forward to seeing what that was going to be like. Um, yeah, it was over here, wasn't it? It's all changing around here. Um, so, yeah, who knows? Who knows what that was going to look like? Um, I don't... I don't think... Yeah, can we sort of put it back in? Can we put it back in? Um, no. Yes, we can. Yeah, it was there, wasn't it? That's kind of how it worked, but it was the other way around. So, yeah, kind of like that. So, um, yeah, it's, it's just gone. It's just gone. We didn't get our resources back. It was a bit of a shame. Um, so, yeah, who knows what happened to it? I don't know. Maybe next time we should not put it over the water. Maybe when the water froze or something. I'm not really sure. I don't know. But, I mean, look, yeah, look, it would, look at that. It would have been spectacular. So, maybe next time when we come back, we'll do lots of upgrades. We'll pause our science. Get everything upgraded. So do all, yeah, a lot of work to make everything you know, as space agey as we can. And then when that's done, we'll just have to kind of sit around for a bit. We'll try and look after the planet, maybe plant some trees with our huge piles of creator points, look after the environment slightly. Um, oh, pollution is ticking up quite a lot. We'll get some more oxygen purifier things in just so that as well. Um, but then, yeah, maybe we'll then grab a gigantic pile of steel beams and then build ourselves a new Hyperloop in that same place. If we can build it in the same place, that will be quite good because I think that is quite an important point between these two parts of Cabordia. I think if people could move quickly between there and there, it would save them walking along here and then driving through a little bit of uh, Loveland there. 
and then kind of walking along here and going around that way. It would make their lives a lot easier. So we'll try and do that maybe next time. That might be a bit of a push, but we'll see what we can do when we come back next time. Hopefully you are still enjoying this. If you are, please do leave a like. That would be most marvellous indeed. And also, if you're not already, then please do subscribe to keep up to date with how we get on here next time out in the universe. But for now, thank you very much for joining me in the Geek Cupboard, and I'll see you next time. I'll throw that at you. That might get you. That's a beautiful shot. Oh, that's a, that, this is an unpleasant angle, Trish. Can you just fall in the water, please? This is this is this is the best box. This is my favourite box of the game so far. Oh no 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 no! It, it is hurting me. It's hurting me a lot. Very uh, interesting way of doing your medical examinations. Who's examining who? <laughs>